recently we saw that, uh, I don't know if, it, if you guys caught the story or if this slipped through the cracks or not, uh, but I caught it. Uh, a couple days ago, uh, Jack Dorsey, who is the CEO of Twitter and Square, decided that he's going to uh, give $5 million to Andrew Yang's uh, Humanity First. I think that's the name of the organization. I should double check that. But Humanity First, Andrew Yang's uh, organization, he's going to donate $5 million to make a case for universal basic income, which, as we remember, uh, was Andrew Yang's sort of flagship platform, right? Um, and I, I was a fan of Andrew Yang. I, I thought he was a very uh, affable personality. You know, he was he was a very gregarious guy, and he had a uh, an interesting way of introducing the idea of universal basic income. And I'll talk about it, that a little bit more, just to uh, recap and refresh for you know folks that might not be familiar with exactly what it was or or, or, or sort of my coverage of Andrew Yang stuff. Cause I do have a lot of Andrew Yang uh, videos um, that I've done in the past. Uh, Cause universal basic income is something that I've been talking about for a number of years. I've, I've, I've said that this is sort of the direction that we need to go. So Jack Dorsey, uh, CEO of Twitter and Square Inc is he's given $5 million, right? Uh, to do a means test, essentially to prove the point that universal basic income is necessary and is uh, going to work. Uh, first of all, this is dumb because we already have this. We already have the proof. We already have proof that universal basic income is necessary, and we already have proof that it does work. Look at Europe. Europe is doing a universal basic income. They are guaranteeing 90% of people's paychecks. They're doing a version of it. It's not universal basic income to the T, to the definition of it, but they're giving people a monthly paycheck every single month so that companies don't have to fire people, so that the unemployment numbers don't have to skyrocket. They're already doing it. There's the proof right there. Just look at what's going on in Europe. Most of these European countries haven't even hit 5% in their unemployment numbers. We're about to hit 30 we're about to hit 30% unemployment. 30% of people that are applying for unemployment right now, the, you know, which is like the regular unemployment payment plus $600 a week because the government's like, oh yeah, we got to give people money, but they have to go through this weird channel to, to get it. You got to, you, and, and then we have to vet you. And then we got to make sure that you're, that you match all of these specific criteria so that people, you know, who, who don't, who are maybe on a cash program, right? Uh, their job is primarily cash-based, uh, won't be eligible for it. This gives everybody their money. This says, this is, this is what you seem to be making, so we're going to give you that money. That's what they're doing in Europe. They're doing 70 to 90%, uh, and, it's, and it's working. Proof is done. Why do we need fucking Jack Dorsey to do any of this shit? What we need is Jack Dorsey to go up to fucking Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell and say, hey, uh, I will stop funding your dumbass campaigns if you don't do this thing. But he's not going to because he's a he's a billionaire uh, and uh, and he needs to have them continue to legislate on his behalf. We're the only first world country that's not doing universal basic income or paycheck protections or any of that sort of stuff uh, or paycheck guarantee. We're, we're doing a paycheck protection, which I've talked to a bunch of small businesses for my podcast, Taboo Table Talk, and uh, the majority of the of the conversation I'm having is, yeah, it sometimes helps, but also some of the businesses don't want to get it because... Um, you know, it's it's going to fuck over their employees. So we're the only country that's not doing this paycheck guarantee program, this universal basic income program. Um, we're currently deliberating whether we should be giving people another one-time payment of $1,200. Uh, and then we're, and then the Democrats are deliberating on how to get average Americans to purchase health care they can't afford right now. Oh, people are getting knocked off their, their employer-connected health care. 
the hostage situation uh, of that we call healthcare in America. Oh, they're getting knocked off of it. We should get them to to buy it from private insurance companies themselves, so then they could be in a hostage situation with private insurance companies. That's what we're doing in the greatest country in the world. That doesn't seem to know how to take care of its citizens, right? Like they're they're basically go looking at people and being like, yeah, but is it? Isn't your health worth one third of your paycheck every single month? Isn't it worth one third of your savings account every single month? Don't you want you don't you want to live? Don't you want your family to survive? So give us one third and we'll make sure that maybe, maybe your family will survive. These guys are like fucking sociopathic supervillains twirling their mustaches as they tie up, you know, uh, damsels in distress to a fucking train track. That's what the healthcare system is in America. So Andrew Yang is planning on taking this $5 million from Jack Dorsey, uh, and he's giving it to 20,000 20, Americans that get a one-time payment of $250, which is arguably worse than what Pelosi did because um, $250 isn't going to cover fucking dick all. Also, this is not means-testing UBI. Means testing UBI would be uh, Jack Dorsey giving five million dollars per month to uh, to Andrew Yang's Humanity First, uh, and then Andrew Yang con converts that into two hundred and fifty dollars a month for uh, the recipients that uh, have applied for it. So once again, we're still going through this weird application process. Um, so it's no different than trying to go through unemployment. Andrew Yang went on CNN to talk about this, and he basically said, hey, we were getting more than 20,000 people uh, coming to the Humanity First website to apply for uh, whatever donations we could, do, we could give them, right? Uh, people, regular average people will donate to Humanity First, and then we pool that money and then divvy that up. Uh, I went through that. I went through that for a couple of different art arts grants in the very beginning of this, and those arts grants have officially now dried up. Because in the beginning, you had a lot of people that had money uh, that were still getting uh, paid, that were still getting some kind of a stimulus of some kind, whether it's from the government, whether it's from uh, the job that they still have, whether it's from uh, other grants or means or whatever. And, um, and you know, that well is dried up, as is the Humanity First donation well which is why you have someone like Jack Dorsey dumping $5 million into it. Um, but 250 bucks, a one-time payment of 250 bucks is not means testing universal basic income. It's just not, and it's going to get rejected. And you're going to have a bunch of conservatives come out and basically use this and, and mock it to say that it doesn't work. Again, look at fucking Europe. Again, look at look at the people that are getting unemployment during this pandemic in this country. I talked about it last week on my podcast that people on unemployment are making more than essential workers. That's the state of things right now. You could just take the unemployment and roll it into fucking universal basic income for every adult in this country and give people what they need. Tack that in with, with uh, rent and debt cancellation. And people, like, you will actually see average Americans re-stimulating the economy. It, since that's kind of the big thing that everybody in America is worried about. I don't really hear a lot of European stories about lockdown protesters to reopen the economy. $250 ain't going to cover dick all for people. It's really not. I consider myself lucky um, that I don't really have uh, the same level of expenses that other people do. I can, I'm, and I'm very thankful for the people that have made donations that have bought tickets to the show to help me cover the expenses that I do have. 
uh, that are not going away right now. So, you know, it's like, but $250 doesn't even cover my car payment. I have car payments. I have uh, payments for uh, all of the online services that I use, right? The hosting for my podcast, the hosting for my Zoom shows, the hosting for my website. Um, those are those are occupational payments that I need to make. Those are the payments that I have right now. And $250 barely covers that. And I'm lucky. I'm, I, I don't have an extraordinary amount of payments to make. I don't have that many expenses. An average family has rent or a mortgage. They might have a car payment. They might have additional debt to other banks, health insurance, utilities to pay for, groceries, medicine, internet, cable services. $250 ain't going to cover that. It'll help kind of maybe for the month of June, but where do we go from there? That's the point of universal basic income. And this is not means testing it. <laughs> and here's the problem that I had with uh, Andrew Yang's UBI, uh, is that it kind of really wasn't UBI. It was this very rudimentary plan, and it used the social safety nets that we already have in place, right? The social security, the welfare payments, the SNAP program, and it used it as a stepping stool instead of a baseline. What we should be talking about is um, let's look at SNAP benefits. Let's look at uh, social security, welfare, unemployment. Look at those numbers all across the country every single state and average that shit out. And that's where you start. Is that average about a thousand dollars a month? Is it $1,200 a month? Is it 1500? Let's say it is to that. We start at that. We start at whatever that average is. And then we add up on top of it. That's how UBI should work. To me, UBI, you should be able to cover uh, rent, food, water, health insurance, internet. Those are the things are, that are basic needs in our society right now. And all five of those things, if, if the baseline for that shit starts at $2,000 a month, then that's where we fucking start. Now, one of the things Andrew Yang advocated for was a value added tax, which uh, which they do in Europe, which is also like kind of the way that they help pay for for UBI and things of that sort. He wanted to add this value added tax in the United States to tech companies, uh, such as Twitter and Facebook, which means that rich people, the ultra rich, the fucking billionaires uh, up at the top, would actually have to pay their fucking taxes. Holy shit! What a concept! What a concept! They would pay their taxes that would help fund something like UBI, which would help average working class people pay their bills, stimulate their economies. It's kind of like if trickle down actually fucking worked. Holy shit. What? So the question has to be, uh, why is Jack Dorsey doing, th doing this? And it has to go back to this value-added tax that we just talked about. Um, it goes back to adding this VAT to make sure UBI will work, which is a lot of letters, so follow me on this. Uh, Jack Dorsey said he wants to give away $1, million, $1 billion of his $4.6 billion uh, net worth to his nonprofit that he owns called Start Small, which is hilarious that it, th if you look at it, is $1 billion to Jack Dorsey is starting small. To most of us, $1 billion is an astronomical number, is an unattainable fucking number when we talk about wealth. 
Start Small is a nonprofit that was first registered in Delaware, which is a tax haven. That's where that's where you register shell corporations so you can evade your taxes as a fucking billionaire in the United States if you don't want to use the Cayman Islands or some shit. You know, you, America first, you guys. If you're going to evade taxes, do it in America first. Go to Delaware. It's all about America first on that front. And then he re-registered it as a as a 5013C nonprofit in California. So basically, at this point, if he publicly gives away his money, um, he gets a tax write-off, and then he gets an incentive for publicly saying that he's going to give his money away. So publicly speaking, this dude is going to come out on top because he's doing it this way. He went on Andrew Yang's podcast to announce this plan. Uh, he's going to give away one about one fourth of his wealth tax free. We're, the the logic is that then it goes to humanity first, who then another venture capitalist millionaire is going to give us two hundred and fifty million two hundred fifty dollars. He's going to give twenty thousand people two hundred fifty dollars a one time payment, um, which is probably going to wind up being taxed for us. It's going to come in as some kind of a grant, but I'm sure they'll be like, well, it's an income. You made income. You're going to get taxed on it. Kind of like the, the stimulus checks. Uh, and then they'll use that tax money to write legislation on behalf of Jack Dorsey to make Jack Dorsey an even bigger billionaire. And then he gets to do this again, where he'll go, oh, I'm going to give away another billion dollars so that I can make $6 billion. So he's getting ahead of that VAT because here's the thing. Um, universal basic income means that automation is on its way and automation is on its way. Regardless of what happens, automation is coming. Uh, there's no fucking way that uh, all the people that have been laid off, they're not all going to get the, their jobs back. Some of these manufacturing jobs are probably not going to come back because the corporations are going to see uh, that they can still make a shit ton of money without these people. That's kind of what we're seeing with, with things like Amazon and Instacart and shit like that. Because they're still going to make money. So they're, gonna, they're either going to find strike breakers, they're either going to find a replacement workers, or they're going to automate, or they're going to go to a different country to do it. Do you think fucking Amazon needs to have warehouses in America to make this shit work? If, if there's enough strikers, they'll go to China again, or they'll go to Bangladesh, or they'll go to somewhere else to, to, for, to put, you know, put these fulfillment centers in place. Because, the, because America is too demanding. Like, that's what's going to happen. And, or they'll just automate it. Or they'll, they'll, they'll figure out how to use uh, automation in their fulfillment centers. That's coming regardless. Which means that if we go to a UBI, we'll have to do a value-added tax on their company, which means that they'll get taxed a lot more, and they're going to get taxed at a much higher number, right? Their percentage will probably be similar to ours, but that percentage means a larger number for them. And they're getting ahead of it by doing this publicly related, oh, I'm going to give $5 million. Uh, a total, I'm giving away a billion dollars, but I'm giving $5 million now because I'm a good guy, you know? Five million is a fraction of a percent of what he's actually intending on giving away. And he's getting ahead of it because he's donating it. So it's going to come off tax free. The dude gets to make a shit ton more money. His public image will go up. His stocks will rise, which means he'll be able to buy those back and then give those away and then get even more incentives. And then it just loops. It's just a fucking loop looping system that that's going to throw Jack Dorsey at the top of it each and every time. And we get little pittance and he gets to stay ahead of this VAT. And then they get to look at it and be like, well, it looks like uh, universal basic income doesn't work. Yeah. It would work if you didn't have cheating loopholes for fucking billionaire CEOs. Also, this idea is not means testing fucking UBI. It's just not. <laughs> like, 
you're giving a one-time payment of two hundred and fifty dollars. That's like saying Nancy Pelosi is fucking due in UBI because she gave you one check of twelve hundred bucks that took six weeks to get to you. That's not. These aren't UBI plans, guys. Look at Europe. That's a UBI plan. That's that's where it should have fucking ended. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for uh, for more. There's going to be daily videos going up uh, on this channel. Uh, I am also uh, going to be performing virtual live stand-up comedy shows via Zoom. Uh, I've done a couple of these, and they've been super, super fun. So thank you to all the people that have already purchased tickets and uh, come out to these shows on a regular basis. They're, they're pretty fun. I'm going to be doing them every single Friday in the month of June. Tickets are available for those right now on my website at krishmohan.com. So it's June 5th, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th, going at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, if you're in the other time zones, I think you can figure out what, what time that <laughs> these shows are going to be on. Uh, they are going to be, each show is going to be a little bit different. They're going to be covering topics like the one uh, in the video that you just watched. Uh, again, you can grab your tickets at krishmohan.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N every Friday at June, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and uh, if you are a sustaining member, you get a free ticket to every single one of these shows. Uh, and you can become a sustaining member over uh, on my website as well. And uh, I know I know times are tough, uh, so if you are in a financially precarious situation, please send me a message uh, or an email, and I will happily give you a code that will get you a, uh, a free ticket to attend these shows. Uh, I'm also releasing my brand new stand-up comedy album, which if you're a sustaining member, you get an early uh, early release version of, early, uh, early copy of. Uh, it is available on my Bandcamp page to pre-order right now, and it comes out June 1st. So you can go to ramennoodlescomedy.bandcamp.com, get, uh, get your copy of it uh, for only a dollar. You can pre-order it for only a buck. If you want to donate a little bit more, that would be awesome as well. Uh, there are more videos like this coming up. I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, a bunch of live streams pretty regularly from my Facebook page and uploading and releasing videos via the YouTubes and uh, and the, on the audio podcast versions as well. So stay tuned. Make sure that you like, make sure that you share, and make sure that you're subscribed to these pages because content like this often gets uh, gets suppressed. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, till the next one, we'll see you on the road. Thanks.